What's up guys, Magic Navs here, and in today's video I'm bringing to you an airsoft review on the VFC Glock 18C. It's a pretty awesome gun. I'm going to go into uh, some of the details for this. Uh, I've strayed away from Glocks for a really long time just because I wasn't a big fan of the profile of it with the square shape and all that. Um, but eventually, given the circumstances, since my VFC USP is not working right now and I got parts for it that are just stuck in customs right now, which really sucks, I decided to bite the bullet and decided, you know what, if I'm going to go with a Glock uh, at all, I might as well go with the, in my, in, my, in my opinion, the best one, the Glock 18C, because it's a full auto pistol, and it's a bit of inspiration from Novich as well, but uh, I'll go over the details for this one, and uh, yeah, let's jump into it. So, first things first, um, we do have a metal slide here. Um, which is pretty nice. You get some nice uh, realism and recoil uh, compared to the Tokyo Murui version. Tokyo Murui obviously uh, is plastic slide, so you have a very fast uh, high rate of fire, um, but you do run into the issues of durability and risk of plastic parts cracking, of course, so no need to worry about that with this particular slide, um, even though I would still be pretty... <laughs> cautious about this because this thing does shoot really fast and kicks really hard so that's a whole warning um, with this being a v being a VFC you get all the nice uh, trademarks on the gun which is pretty sick so it even says official light officially licensed by Glock right around there you have on the left side here your uh, your uh, fire selector, so right here is uh, semi-auto and then push it down for fully auto. There's no safety on on this given it is a Glock. Well, there technically is, but it's right on the trigger here. Um, when you, because this is a striker fired uh, handgun, with there no being with there not being any external safety after you've cocked the gun. The trigger moves forward and this little tab right here is the safety itself so you will have to pr properly press your finger on that on that portion if you're pressing on the side it will not work so you do have to press on that it there is definitely much more of, more of a travel here as you can see there's the wall and then from there once you've pulled the trigger it's automatically put into safe mode obviously if it's loaded it will rack again I'll show you the reset here. It's about like a few centimeters and break is pretty smooth. Of course, when it's reset, there is quite a bit of a travel again from the beginning because of that safety uh, or that trigger safety. So bear that in mind. Uh, you have your slide release on the left side only. Uh, same, much like how the uh, the selector switch is on the left side as well only so you will have to uh, if you do want to lock the slide back you're gonna have to push this up as you pull the slide back I do find it pretty stiff um, this is one of the things I'm not a fan of with the Glock uh, uh, in, in general because the uh, slide release or slide lock is a little bit weird to push up for me it's kind of I have to get my thumb in a weird position in order for it to lock into place, um, but uh, that's a small thing. Uh, if you want to dis if you want to take the slide off to disassemble it or maintenance it, uh, you do have to make sure you take the mag out. You have these two tabs on both sides, one here, one here. You just gotta pull this part down, pull the slide back a little bit, and then slide it forward. And now from here, you can uh, disassemble it, maintenance it, lube it, whatever. Uh, here is your hop up. You can adjust your hop up however you like. However, I don't like the fact that you have to take the slide off in order to adjust it. On my USP, I have a little Allen, uh, or not Allen key, I have a little uh, key that you can uh, adjust the hop just from the front of the gun. This one, you have to keep taking the slide off, which if you're shooting and you're on the field, that is pretty annoying. So. That's my that's my one gripe about this gun, but what are you gonna do? I do find right now, because it's a new gun, 
I'm not sure it's the same for every other Glock, but even with the hop-up completely off, the hop-up is just too much on a 0.2 gram BB. So uh, I don't know if I'll have to possibly fix something with the hop-up. Maybe it's just not uh, fully, uh, you know, it's just something's jammed right now, or if I have to work in the hop a little bit to, you know, get them to flatten out and stuff. I'm not sure, but I'll have to keep playing around with that perhaps and uh, go from there. And then, if you obviously if you want to put this back together, make sure this part is is straight. It's not crooked. From there, you just carefully place it back on the on the, on the lower frame. Pull back a little bit. Make sure the tabs are pushed up, and then your gun is back together. Uh, the mag release is only on the left side as well. Everything on this gun is pretty much only on the left side, so it's definitely much more right-handed friendly. I mean, if you are a lefty, you can sort of, you can kind of sort of, uh, you know, manipulate it with your first finger. Actually, it's still pretty tough, so I feel like you're just gonna have to use your other hand to uh, manipulate that uh, selector switch, if anything, but. What are you gonna do? You got a 50 round gas magazine. This gun is a green gas gun for that record. So you get 50 rounds in this uh, extended magazine when you buy the gun. Very big and long magazine. Um, one thing that's kind of neat is that the fill valve is right at the top here near where the, um, the output valve is. So instead of it being at the bottom like most uh, airsoft pistols are, or airsoft pistol magazines are, it's right here. So you will have to take the magazine fully out and you'll have to charge it like this. Not a big deal, but because this is a much bigger magazine, I would add a few extra seconds when you charge the gun. So instead of five or six seconds, I would do seven or eight seconds, um, just to make sure you can get through all 50 rounds in the magazine. Now, being on green gas, um, I found the FPS, at least with uh, the time of the year right now, uh, it's the end of summer um, in Canada, and I'm getting, I was getting around 300 feet per second on the chronograph on 0.2, on 0.2 gram BBs. Uh, pretty, pretty average, which is and pretty, pretty decent for what it is. Uh, I find like because this gun kicks really hard. Uh, I would probably not suggest doing propane or or anything harder than that because this gun already kicks really hard and uh, fires really fast on full auto. I'm just scared something's inside's gonna break. So I would rather I would probably suggest you not doing um, uh, propane or doing too much full auto on this gun. Not that I would be able to use full auto much anyways because in my field. A lot is not allowed. Probably only be able to do this for fun, just plinking or on the airsoft range. But um, that said, uh, let me show you how how fast this thing is. Um, completely empty magazine, nothing inside the chamber, so completely uh, we're completely safe. But we'll load this in here. Back once, and this is semi-auto. As you can see, very snappy uh, a slide here. And if I do full auto for you really quickly, ridiculously fast, all right? It's insane. Like, I'm not gonna do too much here just because it's late. I don't wanna wake up the house here. Yeah, it's ridiculously fast. Like, you could just spray a whole corner uh, with this and probably hit somebody at least once. Um, I will say though, um, just given my hop-up situation at the moment, uh, uh, even though like my single shot my on semi-auto the BBs are traveling like they're shooting up too much right now I have a feeling when when I'm shooting some full auto BBs are kind of just scattered everywhere So it's not it's not gonna be super accurate not like the Tokyo Marie or anything um, If you're full if you're gonna full auto it's definitely gonna be more for close quarters uh, Not gonna be super accurate. It's gonna be more like a a spread and you're you spraying and praying kind of thing just like how gangsters would use this or something like that right so um, definitely the longer shots you're gonna have to really dial those uh, semi-auto shots in and uh, 
yeah, full auto is just a gimmick. It's a really fun gimmick. The the recoil is great. The slide, the 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 rate of fire is just insane, and um, yeah, like that. The only thing right now I'm having an issue with is the hop up. So again, I either will just have to work the hop up in. Um, hopefully over time it'll wear down and the BBs won't over hop as much, even when the hop up is fully off. Or I, I mean. If I really have to, I might just get a different hop, uh, put a new hop up in or something like that. So we'll see. But otherwise, really fun, awesome gun. This might be my new favorite now as far as a semi-auto handgun in comparison to me running with a revolver typically on the field. So I haven't played in a long time, uh, but hopefully now the summer over and, you know, my work schedule being not as busy, I can hopefully... Uh, give this a try on the field someday perhaps so especially for like a pistol only game or something because now i have like three of these magazines now i'm just waiting on a holster now for it and it should be good to go so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below if you have questions about this uh let me know as well in the comments i'll do my best to answer them but with that said guys thank you so much for watching and hope to see you guys in my future videos until next time peace out guys